the United States Astronaut Hall of Fame, located just south of Titusville, Florida, honored American astronauts and featured the world's largest collection of their personal memorabilia, focusing on those astronauts who have been inducted into the hall, as well as Sigma 7, the fifth manned Mercury spacecraft. Along with Sigma 7, outside of the building stands a full-scale replica of Space Shuttle Inspiration where visitors can enter the inside and view. It is operated as part of the Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex, six miles to the east on Merritt Island. The Hall of Fame will close to the public on November 2, 2015, in preparation for its relocation and relaunch in late 2016 at the Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex. History In the 1980s, the six then surviving Mercury 7 astronauts conceived of establishing a place where U.S. space travelers could be remembered and honored, along the lines of Halls of Fame for other fields. The Mercury 7 Foundation and Astronaut Scholarship Foundation were formed and have a role in the current operations of the Hall of Fame. The Foundation's first executive director was former Associated Press space reporter Howard Benedict. The Astronaut Hall of Fame was opened on October 29, 1990, by the U.S. Space Camp Foundation, which was the first owner of the facility. It was located next to the Florida branch of Space Camp. The Hall of Fame closed for several months in 2002 when U.S. Space Camp Foundation's creditors foreclosed on the property due to low attendance and mounting debt. In September of that year, an auction was held and the property was purchased by Delaware North Park Services on behalf of NASA and the property was added to the Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex. The Hall of Fame reopened December 14, 2002. Inductees Inductees into the Hall of Fame are selected by a blue ribbon committee of former NASA officials and flight controllers, historians, journalists, and other space authorities based on their accomplishments in space or their contributions to the advancement of space exploration. Except for 2002, inductions have been held every year since 2001. As its inaugural class in 1990, the Hall of Fame inducted the United States' original group of astronauts, the Mercury 7. In addition to being the first American astronauts, they set several firsts in American space flight, both auspicious and tragic. Alan Shepard was the first American in space and later became one of the 12 people to walk on the moon. John Glenn was the first American to orbit the Earth and after his induction went on, in 1998, to become the oldest man to fly in space, aged 77. Gus Grissom was the first American to fly in space twice and was the commander of the ill-fated Apollo 1, which resulted in the first astronaut deaths directly related to preparation for space flight. Thirteen astronauts from the Gemini and Apollo programs were inducted in 1993. This class included the first and last humans to walk on the moon, Neil Armstrong and Eugene Cernan, Ed White, the first American to walk in space, also killed in the Apollo 1 accident, Jim Lovell, commander of the famously near-tragic Apollo 13, and John Young, whose six flights included a moonwalk and command of the first space shuttle mission. The third class was inducted in 1997 and consisted of the 24 additional Gemini, Apollo, and Skylab astronauts. Notable members of the class were Roger Chaffee, the third astronaut killed in the Apollo 1 fire and the only unflown astronaut in the hall, Harrison Schmidt, the first scientist and next-to-last person to walk on the moon, and Jack Swigert and Fred Hayes, the Apollo 13 crew members not previously inducted. Inducted. Over two dozen astronauts from the Space Shuttle program have been inducted since 2001. Among these are Sally Ride, the first American woman in space, Story Musgrave, who flew six missions in the 1980s and 90s, and Francis Scobie, commander of the ill-fated Final Challenger mission. The 2010 class consisted of Guion Bluford, Jr., Kenneth Bowersox, Frank Culbertson and Catherine Thornton. The 2011 inductees were Carol Bobko and Susan Helms. The 2012 inductees were Franklin Chang Diaz, Kevin Chilton and Charles Prickort. Bonnie Dunbar, Kurt Brown and Eileen Collins were inducted in 2013, and Shannon Lucid and Jerry Ross comprised the 2014 class. Exhibits. The Hall of Heroes is composed of tributes to the inductees. Among the Hall of Fame's displays is Sigma 7, the Mercury spacecraft piloted by Wally Shira which orbited the Earth six times in 1962. An astronaut adventure room includes simulators for use by children. The spacesuit worn by Gus Grissom during his Mercury flight is on display and has been the subject of a dispute between NASA and Grissom's heirs and supporters since 2002. The spacesuit, along with other Grissom artifacts, were loaned to the original owners of the Hall of Fame by the Grissom family when it opened. After the Hall of Fame went into bankruptcy and was taken over by a NASA contractor in 2002, the family requested that all their items be returned. All of the items were returned to Grissom's family except the spacesuit, because both NASA and the Grissoms claim ownership of it. NASA claims Grissom checked out the spacesuit for a show and tell at his son's school, and then never returned it, while the Grissoms claim Gus rescued the spacesuit from a scrap heap. Gallery.